What's up, everybody? Uh, it's Joey here. Uh, we have Cameron up on the right, on your left. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, you guys? What's up? <laughs> we are doing another episode of Let's Get Paranormal, and we're gonna get paranormal for you guys. We're gonna start. Um, we're gonna give you some ghosts from scratch today. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna make ghosts from scratch. So. I thought it's like oh. ghosts from scratch. <laughs> Isn't that murder? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to say that. Shank, shanking some people. <laughs> oh, no. We're watching uh, Oz, Jack and Jack Osborne's podcast, um, Ghost and Grit, and Katrina was on there from Portals of Hell, and she was saying that <laughs> throughout like school, she thought that shanking was like depantsing somebody. <laughs> So she always went around saying that she shanked someone at <laughs> school today. I, did, I totally shanked him. Was like that. <laughs> Oh man, keep it to your your right just a little bit, a little more All right there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hot. All right, now you can go back. Oh, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, so we're actually gonna. We are today. We we keep forgetting to read the stories that have been posted on our <laughs> our arsenals and stuff. I keep forgetting to do that. It's been like almost a month. <laughs> Because we've done like three other podcasts, I think. Yeah, and, and um, we only done we only did yeah, we only did the stories like once. Once, yeah. And then we like we told them like, all right, we're gonna keep on doing more on the next episode, and <laughs> three more episodes down, and we haven't done anything. I know. I wonder if they're like keep watching it. Like, where the fuck is my story? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna make sure we do that today. I'm right, gonna go to my Facebook and get it ready this time for reals. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I have one. For some reason, no one posts on mine anymore. Uh, let's see. I gotta like scroll way the fuck down. And also, uh, yeah, for the people who's watching though too, you can comment on um, like <coughs> your stories though too. You know, if you want to share it or, or not, it's up to you. It just it, we find it really interesting when you're able to share that experience, especially if it's just like through stories and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I got like one like long ass one. This one, it's like fucking. Oh damn! I know. That's showed, what showed a book. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got on the the alien one too. We can go into that too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everything pretty much it all kind of rubs into one thing, anyways. Yeah, aliens and fucking yeah, serial killers. They're like almost the same thing sometimes. Yeah, I know there is like an alien serial killer, <laughs> and we thought it was a human. Like kind of like almost like like a uh, men in black kind of stuff. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're like serial killers, right? They yeah. Like kill the humans and shit. That's kind of like pretty interesting though too. Like, cause what if there is like <laughs> like aliens that's roaming around? And, yeah. Like, and we're like, just thinking is like what if Jack the Ripper was actually like a, a like an alien? Yeah, an alien. Oh no. That's why they never caught him. He just like all right, this uh, this place is tapped, and someone's a little UFO and flies <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe he's like, uh, what was that one? That that one dude in Men in Black Three or oh, when the the guy who played Barry? Damn it! Um, fuck, I forgot his name. Barry from the HBO show, the one that we watched. Oh, um, what the Bill fuck? Hader, Bill Hader. Yeah, Bill. Bill Hader. Yeah. Yeah. Remember in like in uh, Men in Black Three, he was like, uh, was it three? Yeah, when he was like in disguise. And stuff like that. Like yeah. He was like an alien though too. Yeah. He was playing as Andy something, some artist dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're just in disguise. <laughs> Men in Black really like fuck with people thinking that there's people like around us now. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Because like, was it Men in Black 2 when K, uh, you know, got his memory erased yeah. and everything and he's like working in the whole thing and he's like, who talks like that? He does a little beatboxing and everybody just like Start taking off their stuff, and it's just like they're they're all aliens yeah. watching him working in the the mail room. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Like, what if you just like at a concert and someone just like blinks that way? I know, that'd be <laughs> fucking weird, man. It's 
It's like, dude, teach me that. Teach me. What the <laughs> fuck? You can teach that. Let's grow another set of eyelids. And... That would be pretty cool. Or I think it would be pretty cool, too, to have, like, the little eyelid thing if you're underwater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, like, a sandstorm or something. Yeah, yeah just... It's, like, built-in shades. And... <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Maybe being an alien would be pretty cool. Oh, shit. I wonder if you get, like, perks or something. What would, would what would one of the perks be? Free healthcare. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> just get free healthcare. Hell yeah, that's the best. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> I'm an alien now, I guess. Intergalactic healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's like a, it's a galaxy healthcareness going on. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, should we get started on the stories? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Are, well, you, are you scared? I am a little scared. All right. Uh, go for it, man. Uh, do you have one? I have a lot. All right. Okay, I see all that. Nice. All right. <clears throat> so, I, well, I got to read the ones that don't just say that they have. And then I have oh, to yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Before, before we start on this, it's almost like when someone's like, hey, I need a ride over here. And the most pointless thing to post is like, I wish it can, but I'm at work. <laughs> it's just like, I know. It's like, why even say anything? <laughs> I know. Like, ah, just stuff like that bugs and kind of happen with this one a little bit. <laughs> so you have any ghost stories? Yes. Okay, what happened? <laughs> I have to, do I have to ask you what happened? <laughs> just right. post it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jeanette Chavez She posted, um, I dreamt about a place with a skull and crossbones on the wall in 2013. I was not taken to the armory until I returned to Albuquerque in 2014. In my dream, there was a fire and I was trying to save people on that night. In my dream, I I failed. In 2017, I went to a show at the armory alone. I was helping Odin at the time. Someone had dropped a bunch of hard alcohol on the floor in the big room. Just before this guy dropped a lit cigarette on the floor, I ran over and dumped a bunch of water on the floor, moving away the alcohol. It was, f- it was freaking the building up. Okay, it just says, uh, away from the alcohol, dot, dot, dot. It was freaking, dot, dot. The building would ask me to make them stop. I was like, them who? Um fuck is this <laughs> i don't know what's going on i know i was like i was like reading i was getting like lost i was like maybe it's just like the way how they're typing it probably sounded uh, better when they typed it well um but that's it yeah oh was, what the fuck i guess that's it like it was freaking <laughs> I, I don't know i, what, I think maybe but it was freaky maybe. yeah like it was freaky because like like it all there was almost a fire yeah because like she said she had a dream about a place with bones and stuff like that no. that caught on fire then in 2017, that pretty much happened, but she like stopped it from burning. Yeah. Cool. So, I'm, I, would that be like paranormal? Or would yeah, that be yeah like, I guess like kind of like a vision, I guess. This is it pretty cool that some people actually do have like it's like going like deja vu's and everything. Like that. Yeah. But that one, I guess uh, that dream helped her save the place. I guess. Yeah. Shit. Even though it did close down, I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I know that place is just it's flat. There's no lot or anything. Yeah. Just, I miss that place. It was a cool place. All right. Um, but I, I don't know about the whole scary part on that one. I don't feel like it's scary. It's just more... Like uh, like, yeah, like a deja vu feeling. Yeah. Know? Like a premonition, I guess. So I guess the, the scare scale would be just like a... Just like a zero, honestly. What would have happened? Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, uh, so... All right, so now it's scary now. <laughs> she just got pissed and had a premonition. I uh, heard they're going to say my story was a two out of five. <laughs> I, I give it like a two out of five ghost. <laughs> I'll, I'll say I give it a one because it's, like, it's not a scary one, but it was like an interesting story about yeah. having that dream and everything like that. But on the scary scale, I don't think it was yeah. scary. All right, um... Let's see. I, I have to read like some of the ones that like probably good to read. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like some of them are just like some of them sounds like Rez stories. 
Uh, let's do it with Kobe from uh, Cerebral Desecration. Oh, he has one? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's cool. All right. So, Kobe said, My brother dated a girl that had land that housed the last standing stagecoach uh, stop there in the south before hitting Mexico. The house stayed in, or the house they stayed in was haunted as fuck because they used to execute natives in the basement. Pretty fucked up. At the night, you would see them walking the trees, but if you flash the light, there's nothing there. Seeing a fully dressed native man with feathers and shit coming off his head. And then not five minutes later, a little native, uh, a little native boy following his footsteps. Saw it with my own eyes. That's pretty weird. And it's like... Somewhere in the south before hitting Mexico. That would be pretty cool Like if we could like check that out. Yeah, that's no, true. Sure. So... If you've seen that, you know, I'll, I'll give that one like a like a two. Yeah. Two. But if you um, send a message and tell us where this location is at, and we can ask if we can go yeah. investigate. Yeah, that's no shit. Because that would be sick. Yeah, I give that one like a two. Like a, there was like not too much of a story element. Yeah. But that is pretty weird though, like executions in the basement. Right. Like why the basement? <laughs> How long ago was it? You yeah, know? I know. Like, as if it was like reset, I would understand because they don't want to be seen. Man. Yeah, but, but a long time ago, I don't think it. Really, there were like pretty much like Perry dogs, where it's like <laughs> pretty much. We <laughs> like we showed this boom. Yeah, pretty much. And everybody's like, "Did you kill any natives today?" I was like, "Dude, three of them, dude, just ran into my yard." Fuck yeah, <laughs> my kid got four uh, the other day. Uh. <laughs> my kid got four, <laughs> but um. Yeah, now I'm trying to wonder now how long ago would that house would be. Yeah, because, like, in the basement, that's crazy. Maybe you got to be, like, super, super crazy if, like, if it was back then and you're just killing them or executing them in the basement. Yeah, or, like, or, it was, like, a torture thing. Yeah. Probably a torture thing. But, yeah. But whatever happened in there, dude, that sucks. And especially when he says there's like a little kid yeah. falling behind him. So probably that kid got tortured though too. Oh shit. And fucking the things that happened uh, for back then though too, man, that just sucks. And people just like, oh, they're just dangle natives. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. This is from Jesse Lynn. And with that, the question, do you have any ghost stories? She put, yeah. When I was nine years old, I was up late and I was reading Goosebumps. That's it. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. I got Goosebumps and that was it. Check it out, dude. I don't know what it was. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. All right. um, When I was nine years old, I was up late and I was reading Goosebumps. I looked over and I was leaning, as I was laying on the bed, I saw a boy holding a puppy. It was real. Uh, it was so real. I put the blanket over my head for a few minutes. I removed the blanket, and he was still there. I ended up sleeping facing the wall, covering my head with the blanket that night. I told my family on the morning. They looked at me with a blank yet slightly disturbed expressions. They asked me a lot of questions. What did the boy look like? What was he wearing? What color was the puppy? I answered, and then they told me. The neighbor's girlfriend, who was just visiting, uh, has a nephew that ran into the street after the puppy, and they both got hit by a car. They told her and made me go talk to her to tell her that the boy is at peace. She cried. Then after falling down, she said, I have a lot more, but that was the first thing that comes to mind. That's that's interesting. Right? Like, just imagine, like, seeing something that's, like, physically there, then you just tell them, and they're like, Everybody knows, like, oh, shit, like... Yeah, like, uh, no, like actual, like, something that happened there that pretty much links that shit together. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that's... I would say that was, like, a good... A good ghost scale would be... I will say about, like, a three. Yeah. About, like, a th- th- 2.5. That was more like a calming kind of type. Yeah, it wasn't scary. Like, it would be scary if I was a kid, yeah. Yeah. But it was just a kid with his dog. So yeah, like it. Yeah, it's like a two for me. Yeah, but it it is pretty cool though. 
Yeah. But you actually found, like, that something did happen, and that kind of makes sense. See, dude, that would definitely be really cool to have that on a, one of our ghost investigating where we actually catch something that... Like a physical thing? I, I so wish, dude. Like, that'd be, like, the money shot. Yeah. <laughs> like... You kind of do have one. I always yeah. go bringing that up. Oh, the picture? Yeah. I'm surprised that didn't go viral as much as it did. Like, that was crazy. <laughs> because, like, not one, you caught it with the camera, but, yeah, Pickles is like, I saw something just standing there. Yeah. Like, exactly where where you caught it. Yeah. Dude, that was, I would say that was a sick moment when we got that, though, too. Yeah, because it was weird. It was, yeah, it looked like it was even trying to, like, touch the REM pod. Yeah, yeah. And it, <laughs> when I first saw it, it kind of had, like, the... The shape of, like, Nosferatu, though. <laughs> Just yeah. look at the vampire dude. It was, like, bald or something. Yeah. Just ready to touch it. Because that was when we heard Kyle all... <laughs> and then and we, like, fucking went up there, and then that's when we showed you the picture. Yeah. That was weird, too, because, like, when we were up there, I remember I was telling Kyle, too, I was like, dude, I'm starting to feel, like, nauseous. Like, I feel like I'm going to throw up or something. Yeah. Then wherever Kyle went on that side, like it started attacking him on that one too. Yeah, because that's that's why we went up there because we heard him fucking gagging. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I should go in there, but I want to. I don't know. <laughs> there's there's just something there, man. That, that hopefully could have caught something. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, that's so that's two stories. No, is that two? No, it's three stories. Like three stories. <laughs> all right, I'll read this long ass one. I'm clear my nose because I'm all stuffy. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so this is from Sarah Bourbon. She is from Gallup, New Mexico. All right, so this is her story. Just kidding. <laughs> she's a former days being a CEO at the county jail. I was alone in bookings slash admissions. This area had two large holding cells, one for males and the other for females. At the time... The male holding cells was empty, and there were about five females. I was sitting at my desk checking the paperwork for courts and such when I heard humming. I thought maybe the females were awake, and I could get started on fingerprints, phone calls, etic, or etc. I got up, went up to the door, and looked through the door window. All of the inmates were clearly still asleep. I could still hear the humming and realize it was coming from the empty cell for the males. I walked over to that cell, paused at the door, and I could still hear the humming in an unrecognizable tune. I looked through the window and saw it was empty. I took my keys, unlocked the cell door, and went in. Of course, it was completely empty and the humming had stopped. Confused, I secured the cell, then went back to my desk to continue with my paperwork. As soon as I sat down, I heard the humming. I got up, opened the empty cell, and walked in again. I said something along the lines of, I don't know who you are or what your intent is, but you're scaring me, and I'd appreciate it, appreciate it if you stopped. I again secured the cell and went back to my desk. I sat there anxiously, waiting to hear the humming again, but didn't hear it for the rest of my shift. Later that day, I told my sergeant what I experienced. He told me about seven years prior, a male inmate had committed suicide in that cell. Sarge gave me the inmate's name and I was able to track down the incident report. I read and confirmed for myself that the suicide had occurred in that cell where I heard the humming. I had a coworker see a full apparition of that inmate in the booking area, but she doesn't like to talk about it. That's that. Oh, wow. Damn. That's a lot to take in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I think that one for me was going to be a, that's gonna be a three or nine. Yeah, it's like a three or three and a half. Yeah, it's, a, like, it's not like it was attacking you or anything, but it, it is creepy, like hearing something humming. Because yeah. we've caught in the humming before. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was creepy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that brings up to a 3.5. Because, yeah, now remembering that humming one. Yeah. Dude. That's fucking scary. Yeah, and it happened twice to her, and she went in there, and then and then finding out there was a suicide in that cell before. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, if you have any videos or something, if, or I'm not sure if you still work there. <laughs> yeah. You know, send some of uh, audio stuff. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Or, 
I wish it's probably an active place, so we probably can't even get an investigation there. <laughs> We're all by inmates now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but if it isn't, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a pretty cool story. Yeah. Let's see. Now, we are going to the alien stuff. Oh, shit. We're about to be abducted. Oh, and probed. Probed. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Well, if we both get if we both get taken to get pro, dude, it's gonna be brobed. Oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> get anal broed. Just <laughs> fucking just holding hands and there's <laughs> dude, it's just two aliens. <laughs> oh, dude, just high fiving. The aliens, <laughs> the little three fingers. <laughs> oh, All right, that'd be high three then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna read some like some of those are kind of short though too. Um, yeah, this says this is from Osmar Aguirre. He said I had my first here in Wisconsin. So what happened? He's like an orb of light manifested manifested right in front of my view in the air, floated around for about five seconds and disappeared. My entire experience lasted for five seconds, and I will never forget about it. Huh. Have you had those too? Like, you ever seen something like? It's like such a short time, and like it sucks that no one saw it. Like, did you see that? I'm like, what? It's like something was like just flew up. Did you see that? It's like, <laughs> no. I was like, I swear, I just saw it. <laughs> yeah, there's one time I'll, I'll tell the story in a bit, but yeah, there's one thing. It, it's kind of like Alien too, which was weird. But uh, so you saw an orb? You said? Yeah, and said an orb of light manifested right in front of my view, in the air. So. Huh. It was, it was Ball lightning. <laughs> just a ball lightning for five seconds. <laughs> no, but I guess this one wouldn't be the scary scale on this one for the aliens. Would we say like, like more like interesting? I guess like you know, we'll rate the encounter if anything. Helped. Yeah, it's pretty well. He didn't get probed or abducted or nothing. Talked to him. Yeah, but I I, I feel the humbleness when he was like. Those five seconds, I'll never forget, you know? Yeah. So, I'll give that one a two of encounterness, you know? Yeah, two, the good two is, yeah, two is fine, because I, I don't think it's, like, insane, like, you didn't see a spaceship or something. Yeah. It was just like, and that was it, just like, yeah. whoa. It's just like an alien loogies. <laughs> oh, it's like, does that one? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they're doing that now. <laughs> they're just <laughs> fucking with us. <laughs> Uh, but, um, but uh oh yeah all right go, go to another one. Oh, okay so this one the it's gonna be a long one actually like a really long one this is from the yana maria maria and she's from new york new york new york but all right my family and I are from Panama. Our tribe is deep in the jungle. A two-day trek and boat ride to get to our tribal land. When I was 12, my five brothers and I were hunting large cats. The jungle lit up. Blue, yellow, green, very, very bright. My brother's eldest, picked up, uh, my brother's eldest brother picked me up and threw me on his back and said they came back. We must leave now. So we run back as we're, so we run back, as we are running, uh, our elders are running towards us. Elders are leaders of tribe, our grandpa, our grandparents and parents. We all run to each other, and my father grabbed me and says, "Don't, do not be afraid. They are ancestors. They look for mineral in the jungle. They will not hurt you." I remember turning around to look at the lights, and. This huge, huge electric blue, almost see-through blob was floating around with a yellowish-green light shining on the ground in the jungle. Our elders told us, do not move. It shined light all over us. And then it shot straight up into the sky, all the way up until it was no longer there. They have been following me since, or ever since I was a child. I am now an adult and married with my own partner, or with my partner, we always look up at the sky. If 
if I go out at night because she has seen what seems to be following me out here under these mountains. I start to take photos if they don't mind. And that is my experience and continues to be. That's pretty weird. Yeah. It's like jungle aliens. Some jungle aliens. That's a funny way to say the jungle aliens. <laughs> just, they're just aliens that happen to be in a jungle. <laughs> Made that story less scary. I know. Uh, ju- jungle aliens. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> like the like the UFO is like a big old drum too. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty crazy though. I didn't ever expect we get a story from like Panama. That's crazy. Right? That, that's that's pretty cool. So <laughs> countering this wise from the way how detailed explain how it was yeah. too i'll give like a it's pretty crazy a good old ford i feel like picture it too like, yeah I, I don't know why i picture like grass huts and shit <laughs> like they're like i don't know if they had guns or spears or whatever but <laughs> i'm gonna guess spears if it takes two days to get to yeah them. no shit that's crazy <laughs> that's good no i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> that's all your picture is like, oh, dude, what the fuck and then like some spaceship <laughs> Pulls up with like a lowrider fucking spaceship. A lowrider? <laughs> Some Mexican aliens. Oh, okay, what? No, wait, hold on. Holy no, no. Shit. <laughs> not, not Trying to get us canceled. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> hold on, like aliens up there that are all choloed out. <laughs> Alright, now. If anybody's gonna cut that out, just, just, whatever. We're talking about tribal aliens and. <laughs> tribal? Other tribal aliens? <laughs> They're all tribal tatters and shit. What the fuck? There's a lot of aliens out there. They could, you, know, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> but what I was talking about, Chole aliens, though. Oh, that just, it, it just doesn't sound good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. So the encounter of the story, though, too, I'm going to give it about a, a four. Yeah. I'll give it about a four. I'll give it like a four. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, and it's like seeing the thing just float around and whatever colors that she saw, man, like that's crazy. Yeah, like lights up the jungle and shit. And then, like, the parents already know about it. That's kind of crazy. That is actually really crazy, you know? So it's happened, like, more many times. And she said it's still, like, she still sees the lights here and there. Yeah. Because even, the, uh, she said her father said, like, oh, like, they're back, you know? Yeah. So, like, when was the last time he saw that? And when was the grandparent, you know? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I wonder why not move or why not talk if they're ancestors, you know? Yeah, I know. Like, wouldn't you, like, want to talk to your ancestors? Oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, they probably need more details on that and why not talking to them yeah because like are they are they dangerous or like don't move or something yeah yeah i don't know if anyone else has jungle alien stories <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing <laughs> jungle alien. why does it just say alien stories okay, alien well i want i want more jungle aliens that's crazy <laughs> i never heard of aliens in the jungle I never heard of aliens in the jungle too. The only one that I hear is the one you know, like in Roswell or something like that. Yeah, like some that. desert aliens. Desert <laughs> aliens, yeah. Some dry, crack skin aliens. Yeah. <laughs> and most of the other other alien stuff is in what Area Fifty One. Yeah, that's another desert alien place. Oh shit! They need lotion. That's what they need. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised they're still gray and they have all that sun out there. You know, uh, they're probably not even gray. They're just like dry. <laughs> This fuck, they're just like, we're just looking for lotion. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm trying to look for the best lotion on earth. Elbows all ashy as fuck. We can sand down some some shit. Fuck you. <laughs> some jerkins. And... <laughs> what, um, oh, what actually surprised me about this one, that story I was hanging out um, uh, with my friend, uh, she was, she was telling me about a, uh, some of her alien experiences. Yeah. And I guess a long time ago, when she was little, she was like a, out, uh, I forgot where, somewhere in the res or something, and she saw like this light or something like that. Oh. I'm trying to remember how she told me, because it was like, she told me once, I was like, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, she saw like this light, and I guess it was like trying to follow her or something like that. Yeah. And I think she said her dad, you know, like, kind of like, oh shit, you know, I picked her up and, you know, just picked her up and uh, ran inside. And I guess uh, that's like the, that's that's me showing it because I'm trying to remember it. And yeah. I guess she said ever since then, when she drives through the res by herself, like at night, she, says she sees like a light following her though too. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, she said that, that happened to her when she was nine, and she's like, like 
some 30 some years old now and she said that life still follows her so it's like stalker aliens yeah that's pretty weird <laughs> stalker aliens <laughs> <laughs> Like you picture him with a trans coat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's all stupid with a <laughs> stupid hat or something like that. <laughs> and his hand in his pockets just trying to follow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get her next time. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's for 30 fucking years. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's the shittiest. <laughs> the shittiest stalker. <laughs> or maybe a really good one. No, that's shitty because he's never got a target. <laughs> it's like a, Every time it's fuck. <laughs> Just turned around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there's that one uh, that I honestly think that uh, Joe Hernandez is just messing around with this one. Yeah. Because when I asked him, or when I put that on, he said twice. I was like, what happened? Abducted in 1997 uh, in Colorado and 2005 here in Albuquerque. Is he being serious? I don't know. Because I said, that's crazy. What's the story on those? And just never replied. Huh. You know what, Joe? I always thought you were an alien. No, I'm kidding. What the fuck? I don't know if that's real or if he's just fucking around. I know. That's why I'm, that's why I'm saying that, too. I'm just like, did it really happen? Because I, I really want to know. I really, really want to know. Joe Hernandez, let us know. Did you really get abducted? Did you? And, oh, okay. So this one he replied. So there's a person named B Rock James. Went to uh, um, the job court together. But um, he said, yes. I want to say three, but only two got me tripped out. Can't explain what it was, but it wasn't normal. I think what happened. And he put, my buddy and I were chilling outside on the res. I was in my car, rolling atop, and my bro was hitting the spotlight. Or, yeah, I was in my car, rolling atop. Oh, like atop of a cigarette. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I, I really was... thought you were going to say, like, I was in the car, rolling atop, my homie was hitting the spot. <laughs> oh, stupid. The... Like, that's weird. He starts, like, rapping it or something. <laughs> Ghost stories or rapping. Uh... Rapping aliens? Rapping aliens. <laughs> All right, um... I was in my car rolling a cigarette, and my bro was hitting the spotlight in the sky with a laser. Then he trips out saying, did you see that? And I was like, no. What happened? He said, a bright light flashed us. So I looked up, pitch black, no sound, no nothing. So I tell him, do it again. And right after he turned it, uh, after that he turned it on and off, a bright light turned around on us, and it turned off. There was, uh, and there was nothing. We ran inside and t- um, told the family. I still wonder what the hell it was. There was nothing in the sky, so how could a beam of uh, bright light flash us? Government, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> this one time... Or, or, okay, so he has like one, two, What's weird three more I've stories. heard people do that before. They like shine lasers in the sky and then something flashes back. Yeah. I've heard that. I always wanted to try it. You have to have like a real powerful laser, though. You know, I think my my friend has a um, has a, one of those powerful lasers. Yeah, I try to ask him if he use that. Just got cool. got to watch out not flash in a helicopter or something like that. No <laughs> shit, it's fucking Kobe somebody. Jeez, <laughs> just make more ghosts. Oh, fuck. Maybe we should. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, we, need, we need more places to investigate. <laughs> There's one video I saw where uh, these kids were shining a, their laser at a, like a it was like a government helicopter or something like that yeah. and those kids I think there's like three of them or four of them and those kids got fined like a hundred thousand each or something God damn. I think it was a hundred thousand but that's crazy well I was like that's crazy to like oh my god their parents probably fucking hate those fucking oh kids. yeah yeah because I think they were getting away with it but with the great help of the internet they're like oh that's the street I know those kids here they are <laughs> uh, so you, that's the thing about what's crazy but nowadays is like so someone posts it and like hey can you find this person and the whole internet just just searching and searching yeah. and you can find it so uh, can't steal any eggs anymore I'm just kidding fuck I don't know why eggs in general but <laughs> why I don't know what the was, fuck like you're an Easter bunny I was thinking like groceries What's your secret identity I was thinking about groceries <laughs> 
Sorry, kids. You know, you know who the Easter Bunny is. <laughs> it's Cameron Bell. <laughs> You just see me just all fucking that trench coat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just with some ears on and just hopping around. What the fuck? The trench coat just fucking. That's stupid. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, same thing with V Rock again. <clears throat> this one time, I was with two of my bros, <clears throat> and we we're sitting, or we we're getting stoned in my truck. Facing a volcano, again, on the res, so in the middle of nowhere. Then red lights started flying uh, above it. Almost like they were, like, coming to us. But they left that area and flew high towards the sky. There were, like, seven or eight red lights. Some would turn off and on. That was excited and trippy. Hmm. Where where are you at, man? Where are you seeing all these lights? What res is this? <laughs> <laughs> Got some native aliens going on. Oh, shit. Raise aliens. Raise aliens. All right. Um, my sister and some bros that have their own stories. You and my mom, when she got chased by a UFO in the 90s, she, she sped up and it would keep the same speed next to her like it was moving, like it was not moving. Also, took place on the raise. This one I'm not sure, but I was a... Or, but it was a tan gray circle object floating across the sky. I could not see any lights on it, but I could see it float across the night sky like the UFO from Independence Day. This happened in Kansas when I was looking out my window before bedtime. I was in middle school, but I'm not sure if this would count, but the other two stories, you know, I'm positive it's something more powerful. Hmm. So... I'll give your encounter ratings about about three, because you happen to encounter a lot. Yeah, it was like three different times. Yeah, and, and so, it's all aliens. It's all aliens. All res aliens. You ever had like an alien encounter? Um, not really an encounter, but it's like um, you know, just seeing it. Like yeah. uh, the one I know for sure. We were we were living over here on the west side, uh, up there on Unser. And I just finally got my bed into my room. And it was, like, probably, like, 10 or something. Because during the time, my parents were working that night. So I plugged in my phone and everything, got done playing guitar. And I was like, I'm just going to lay down. And yeah. I was like, I think we just barely moved there, too. It was, like, the biggest house we ever lived in. So I just had, like, that moment of just, like, sitting and, like, letting it all soak in on, like, Man, we're finally living in a big house, not in a trailer anymore, you know? <laughs> and I was looking out, and I saw this blue, like, it looked like a disc, too. Like, it was, like, like a bright neon kind of type of blue. Like, it flew, like, like smoothly, and yeah. then like that, and then went up, huh. like, like, went, like, kind of, like, over the mountain almost, too. That's weird. Yeah, like, that, that was the only one that I can say for sure that I know I've seen with my eyes, but anything that uh, UFOs, I wish I could see that. Or maybe that was a UFO, but uh, that was probably my only, like, alien... Huh. Story that I have. I have, I don't know if it's aliens, but I have one story that had to do with, like, the sky. Um, what the fuck? I was driving towards, it was in the morning? I don't even know what time of day it was. But I was driving down um, McMahon. You know how it faces the mountains? Yeah. And you can see, like, the the mountains right there. And I was driving, I was stuck in traffic. And I don't know what made me look up at the mountains. And there was like a big, the only cloud in the sky. Just one big cloud. And uh, I don't know what made me look. I think it was like a reflection from the sun or something. Made me look up. And I saw this fucking like, uh, it, like, it looked like an antenna. It came out of the cloud. And then it like fanned open. And then it went like this. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then right when I said that, it, like, folded back in on itself and went back in the cloud. What the fuck? Yeah. And it must have been pretty fucking big for me to see it from that far. Because it was, like, pretty close to the mountain. Yeah. It was pretty weird. That's crazy. You think You think if you ever drew it, you think you can draw how Yeah, because I still remember what it looked like. Is that That's the thing I was talking about. That I It only happened for a few seconds, and I don't fucking remember that forever. That it, is crazy, man. It was really weird, yeah. And I never seen anything like fold up like that. It was like weird. I don't know. 
And I've been I've heard stories about the government like because they now they have like a weather machine thing where they can actually create clouds like from scratch, and they actually use that to transport like really secret like things so that are you know they can fly in the air. Yeah. That they create these clouds so they can transport it over public skies so they can't see, people can't see it. So I don't know if that's maybe what I saw or something. If you try to think. What do you think that thing was doing when it opened? I don't know. I don't know what it was doing. I don't know. I don't know if it was an accident. Someone like pressed a button and it was like, <laughs> was just, fuck you on fucking dumbass. You put that satellite <laughs> dish up. Fuck. Oh, and then it, like, I just wanted to watch something. Uh, I was like, hey, can you make some coffee? Yeah. No, don't push that. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> just because I can Oh, fuck. I'm going to hear this when I get back home. <laughs> well, I just, yeah, can I talk to you in another room for a minute? It's the same guy comes back out. He's like, they're not gonna get me. Stupid. He's already expecting it. That was pretty fucking weird. I remember that shit pretty clearly. Yeah, it was like the rod was like pretty skinny, and then it it just opened up into like a little silver satellite. Yeah, and it had like a point in the middle, and then it just like closed up, and then went back into the cloud. Damn. If it was aliens, what if they're, like, trying to communicate, like, all right, so this is Earth, this is how Earth looks like, or something like that? <laughs> I just don't know. I, I don't understand why it would be just Albuquerque, though. Like, yeah, out of all places. Here, <laughs> or maybe that's why there's nothing here. Maybe, yeah. I know it's going to fucking look here. <laughs> I was like, remember that crash in, was it, 47? Yeah. It's like, people's going to just gonna keep on looking at the sky, and they're going to freak yeah. out, and no one's going to believe them, so... Probably being in New Mexico is probably the best way to... Yeah. And the crime rate's high as fuck, so that guy probably won't live a full life <laughs> to tell the story. <laughs> <I'll see. laughs> He'll get shot by a drive-by. <laughs> shot by a drive-by? Shot by a drive-by. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, that was pretty weird. That was probably the only alien experience I've ever had. And then I think I told you the other one where I thought I was having an alien experience, but it, it wasn't. Did I tell you about that Me and Kyle? No. No? Okay, never mind. Anyways, thanks for watching. No, let's go. So stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Only because I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> well, there was actually like two of them that I was like, what the fuck is that? The, okay, I'll tell the first one. Um, so, like, I was driving down 313 from Bernalillo, like, uh, in front of, like, Sandia, that long road. Yeah. And I was driving b- uh, back to Sandia, and... I was looking in the sky. If something caught my eye, like, I saw, like, little, like, a red dot, like, in the sky. And then another one joined, and a bunch of them. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, what the fuck is that in the fucking sky? Like, why? They're all following each other. And then, and then I found, I was, like, freaking out. I honestly was. I almost pulled over. I was like, oh, I'm fucking, this is the drone show at the fucking balloon fiesta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, holy shit, Yeah, dude. dude. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> It's a bird. <laughs> this is the shout that out first. It's a bird. Oh, I'm like, why are you so excited about the bird? <laughs> why are you so excited about a bird? And birds don't light up like that. <laughs> well, that, well, that talks about this joke. I can't remember what comedian came up with it, but yeah, like he always says, like you know, you know the spider, uh, Superman, where they're always like, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Superman. Like, why the fuck was the first guy so excited? Like, why was he so excited to shout, it's a bird! Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Is it, uh, my grandpa, not too long ago, she, he was watching uh, the like those old Superman yeah. uh, shows. And he's like, look up the sky, it's a bird! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just start laughing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, why? Like, if you look up, he's like, it's a bird! <laughs> like, look up, it's a bird! <laughs> like, well, like, why? You're like, well, okay, chill out, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh bird! <laughs> 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 oh, if I always wonder, like, what, it's true, like, like, when you think about it, like, why the fuck was he so excited about a fucking bird? <laughs> I don't, like, what, okay, if you already know Superman, like, would be there, when, when's your first thought be Superman? Oh, shit. It's like, oh, there goes Superman. Even if it was, like, the first time seeing that, like, I, you still wouldn't, like, I would look and be like, oh, it's probably just a bird. <laughs> like, uh, and someone's like, eh, it's probably a plane. And then you see a guy, like, holy fuck! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Superman. <laughs> then, yeah, but not fucking. The first two are just like, the second one's a little less like, like okay. Like, okay, you're obsessed with planes. planes yeah, <laughs> well, a bird. That's like every day, homie. Like, what the fuck? It's a bird. Like, is this your first day out in the sun? Like, what the fuck? 
You never seen a bird in your life? Mom finally lets you outside. <laughs> it's all gray. The homeschool kid. <laughs> no, the, dude, those kids. That kid's an alien, dude. <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> I still don't understand that. I, I remember uh, Pickles was like, "Well." He was trying to justify it that one day. <laughs> it was like, well, because he said, like, look at what's in the sky. And like, I'm still, why would he scream bird? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this is an overexcitement, dude, just for like a little pigeon or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bird. It probably scared me when I was walking out. It's a bird. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Just, yeah. <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, the second time, I thought I was having an alien encounter. Um, me and Kyle were in his car and we we're driving to Sandia again, that long dark road. Yeah. There's like no lights on that road. It's just headlights. So that's it in the sky and see the sky pretty good. So we're driving towards Sandia and it's a long dark road. It's like parallel with the Sandia mountains and, uh, we're driving and I see like these red lights like way over there, but it's not close to the ground. So it's not like a car. It's like in the sky. <laughs> And I look, I like, it's like he's driving and his windshield's like right here. And I'm like, what the fuck is that, dude? What the, what the fuck is that? And Kyle's like, I, I don't know. What is, what is it? Is it in the sky? I was like, yeah, dude, it's like in, it's like flying. And I was like legit, like my heart started pounding, dude. I was like, is that what I fucking think it is, dude? No way, dude, dude, no way. No. Are we about to see something? <laughs> like, it's, it gets all freaked out. We were. No fucking way. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah. And then I got, like, so close to the glass because it was coming, man. And then I looked up and it was. It was like, mm. And it was a fucking passenger plane. Oh. <laughs> dude, I could, it was so low, though. You could see, like, the lettering on the bottom of the plane. Why is it driving so low? I don't know. It, like, went. Like, it was, like. Legit look like it was from like here to like the ceiling or something. Jeez. Like I could see like the stupid little whatever the fuck those legs are or whatever. <laughs> stupid legs. Yeah. Like, little plane leg, plane legs. Yeah. Like I could see the like l- like numbers on the bottom of it. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh my god. Like we both were like fucking just like freaked out. Like we re- almost like relaxed. Like dude, I really thought we we're about to see a fucking spaceship, bro. I thought our lives were about to change. <laughs> You know what? Did you even try to think about pulling out your phone? Or were you just like so much? Just, in awe? I, yeah, I was so fucking like, holy shit, this is about to happen. Because it was like slowly coming. I was just like, holy fuck, holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That, I, that actually, you know, I can understand that. Like, because I know how dark that road is yeah. too. So, I, fuck, man. I remember doing that, just going like, no way, no fucking way, dude. <laughs> like, just like looking, like, <laughs> you're, all, you're all edging yourself. Over yeah, there? dude. It's like <laughs> Kyle was just like. Because he's the one driving. He's like, what the fuck's going to happen? <laughs> That's so, like, crazy, though, too. Because, like, when you hear these stories, like, why didn't you pull your phone? But, like, it's so it's it's a whole different experience when you're, like, you're in the moment. Yeah. Because yeah, you're, like, you're like I need to see it with my own eyes. Because I, I don't want to try to pick up my phone look down for a bit and, like, miss yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, especially if it's that, like, something that's going to be, like, that dramatic. You know, traumatic where you're going to freak out. Yeah. You're just, you don't. You're not even thinking about anything else. You're just like, what the fuck am I looking at? You know? Man. Like, with our ghost hunting stuff, we go in there with cameras. So it's not like we have to, like, we have it in our holster or something. I know. Just ready to <laughs> film. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll stupid. laughs> just like that, like, oh, fuck, hold on. All right. <laughs> Is that my camera? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> it's all facing you, though. <laughs> You're not paying attention. So she shows your face. It's, <laughs> it's, just, it's like those shitty ghost hunting channels. Like, you see it over there? They're just facing at themselves. Yeah. Like, it's over there. Like, Can I see? Yeah. At least have two cameras. One on your stupid ass mug and then one on the other one thing that you're looking at. Stupid ass mug. <laughs> I hate when they do that. I, it fucking pisses me off. It's right there, and it's just showing the guy. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so many, there's so many like, uh, what's that word called? Like, um, pet peeves I have. Yeah, when people try to record something of what's happening, you know. Like, yeah. And doesn't it suck? Like, it could be like a really good ghost video, but it's like on a shitty quality or something. Yeah. Like that one bugs, and maybe it's just like what other stuff they have. So, it sucks that. That's the quality. It's cool that they get it, but 
So that's one of them. Two, a lot of really good videos, like they have like really clear quality. You can tell like some are just like way too fake. Or yeah. like they get so used to editing when they pan really fast or something like that. It's like edit right here and then we'll go back and it's gone or something yeah. like that. There's that one, and then, um, yeah, that one, another one, too, when they're facing, like, whoa, like, there's something crazy happening, We're like, right over there, like, right over there, it's like, turn around and zoom in so we can see, man. Oh, <laughs> fuck. It's like, I see it moving, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, dude, you see it, see my eye, it's like, looking right at it. It's, it's like this camera, just like, it's not turning this way. Yeah. It's just looking at you. Uh, <laughs> A little stupid, like, yeah, if I'm looking at it, it's like, whoa, whoa, you see that? You see that? Like, right there. Yeah, it's kind of moving. It's gone. It's gone. Wow, man, that was that was a whole different experience. <laughs> you're just sitting there watching your phone, probably like on on, on the shitter or something. You're bored, and you're like, I don't see anything. I guess I just wipe my ass. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Like you weren't planning on wiping your ass. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what made you wipe your ass. <laughs> it's it's so a sh- shitty ghost video. <laughs> I guess I'll wipe my ass in. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a choice too. Like <laughs> These kids are learning a lot about the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> like when the, the Easter Bunny sometimes wipes his ass. <laughs> this, this. He sometimes wipes. That's, that's how you get the chocolate ass. <laughs> <out of here. laughs> he just go and hop in people's yards. <laughs> <laughs> shit comes off. Well, dude, just like a fucking little trail. <laughs> Mom, it's chocolate. It's all covered in his mouth. And shit, man. <laughs> I guess I'll wipe my ass. <laughs> a little stupid. Uh, is there something about like being a ghost hunter that you like want people to know that most people usually don't know? We do wipe our asses. <laughs> No, but um, I guess um, when you're watching like an episode, right? Like on any episode, like 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 any show. Yeah, and, like it could go from like thirty minutes to an hour. You know, it's all compact into like that short amount of time of how much evidence you get. Yeah. The thing that the people don't know is it's it's still a whole night. It's yeah. still like what it's like, like seven seven hours sometimes. Yeah. Seven eight hours, and you're just. You sit there, and you use this sometimes. You have to walk around, see if you catch anything. And you're doing that for hours. You could sit in a room, and there could be nothing going on. But the thing is, you're trying to hopefully catch something. Yeah. So you're just sitting there and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then after that, go walk around, walk around that same area for a bit. And I said, yeah, just try to catch like something. Yeah. So then you're like, all right, well, we're done with this area. Now to go to another room. It's like, it's on repeat. You're just doing that. And then after that, we try to do some different method where, well, like, two will go this yeah. way, two will go this way. And then try to see if something happens like that. And then we do the, the solo investigations. Yeah. So we're, like, always going back and forth in the same spots. Like, it would be all four of us. Then it would be two of us. And then it will be just you. And then we try... Yeah, like the Estes method, we do those ones too. Yeah, we tried recently. We actually went on a ghost adventure. <laughs> we went on a paranormal hunt, but we did try some new methods, which uh, one of them wasn't successful because I, I think I need a bigger speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was like like tiny. Yeah, so we're gonna need something like that. But I want to try that again at another location with a bigger speaker, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, and then that sensor deprivation thing was a different thing. Never tried that before. <laughs> Dude, I think that would be cool if you try that with your um, the sensor deprivation with that. Uh, the oh, with the I like, give the like the tone thing. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Cause I wonder if that would like spark. Cause it's supposed to spark up thing, but we just need something louder. Yeah. Yeah, cause it's supposed to vibrate like uh, at a certain frequency, and it's supposed to like stir up some or give the spirits energy or some shit. And the thing that, oh, and that's the thing I tell them too. Usually it's like a no go to say, but I usually just tell the, like, the spirits and stuff like that to um, use my energy, like, use, you know, pretty much all of it. 
Yeah. Like go ahead so they can speak through and everything. Or sometimes it was like, just scratch us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when like nothing's happening. You're just like, just do fucking something. We're just fucking masochist uh, ghost hunters. <laughs> Shit, just hurt us. <laughs> hurt us. Pull my hair. Harder, harder, bro. Push me down the fucking stairs. Or, like slap me in the face. Oh shit! Yeah, we've done that many times. It's like fucking slap. Like just slap us. Like do something. <laughs> Fuck. You're edging me. I know. You can close the window. You can slap me in the face. <laughs> yeah, just all begging for pain and shit. Like yeah, that. like it's like fuck. Just do something. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> but um, yeah. That's the that's the thing um, that you guys need to know about that though too when we do these <clears throat> it just takes so long and it's worth it you know it, it's fun and it's worth to know like with history of what happened yeah the first like whole hour is just us setting up oh yeah it's just like it's such like you want to get started so bad but you can't and then some things are just not i don't know electronics just suck yeah. especially if you're in a haunted place too it's just like you're, you're like trying to hurry and you're like fuck what the fuck is this you're in a haunted place, and hopefully that place has like fucking uh, like power. Yeah, power. Yeah. Is it, like if, if we start having a lot of those, we might have to do like those generator things and put the thing outside. Yeah, and, then roll it through like a window or something. Yeah. Yeah, because like some like a lot of the times we just have like battery packs, you know, like these ones that are off camera, like this. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. And then there's another one over there, but. Yeah, we those come in handy so much with these ones that we uh, carry like on our shoulders and shit. Because yeah. before we would we'd run out of battery power like fuck, no. I know it'd be like just like shooting a a gun or something, just like oh, it's about to die. Switch to the battery, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, because I remember I used to have like b battery backups. Now that we didn't have like the, the other ones, like yeah. the actual like in thing or battery packs. I remember um, which one was it? I think it was like the first haunted hill. Remember where we had to like we took a break because we had to charge the camera. Yeah, yeah, that was. Car. Yeah, <laughs> that's so crazy. Like thinking how far we got with that one too. But yeah, because yeah. I remember we used to do that. Like you like have some extra batteries, you put them in the charger, and we use the one that we have. Go back, take those out, put the other one back in, and yeah. hopefully that one would charge enough for. By the time we used it. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Now we don't. We just get these big battery packs and last like forever. Oh. <laughs> After we did our ghost investigating, I was like, huh, it must have been that long since we've done it. Because, like, we know how you're holding it. Yeah. Like, now I feel better. But yesterday and the day before, man, my arms go out. I was really like, tired. I was like, ah, it's so sore. You were the one holding it the longest because you have to go with Melissa and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I try to sit down for a bit. I'm still holding it. And I get up. And I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> the whole night, man, just holding it. Like, it's a good thing you got that weight thing because that would have sucked trying to actually hold it up like that, though, the too. The weight, yeah. Because you can kind of, like, put it a certain way where it balances. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, like the part, what's well, nice, though, too, you can move it back and forth. It's like, okay. Then. Yeah. It's, like, sweet. And you can, you know, honestly, sometimes you'd, like, it's not, you know, not not telling you to do it, but you can, like, just, like, let it balance on your shoulder. But, yeah, you can. Or at least, like, rest one arm or something and just kind of, like, lightly hold it. Yeah. Because, like, oh, man, when we uh, did that, um, uh, Donna Anna, when I was trying to hold that with my hand again, they're like, "You want to put the shoulder mount on?" I was like, "No, I think I got it." And then we're walking around. I was like, "I was like, oh, God damn it!" I was like, <laughs> "That's a big fucking place, too." Yeah. As I was walking, I was like, "I should have taken it. I should have taken it." Yeah, because you guys went to the basement first, no, the second. Yeah. Yeah. And you were just like fucking dying. <laughs> oh man, that sucks about the the basement one. I thought that was gonna be like the probably the most haunted area in that place. I did too because I, he let us go in there and fucking not shit <laughs> they had it locked up too didn't they yeah they're like oh it's so crazy down like they really hyped <laughs> it up and uh, we've learned that a lot from ghost hunting the most the places they hype up the most is the less haunted yeah <laughs> it's always like that <laughs> i guess yeah that's another thing that i guess you have to know though too is like there's a lot of people that's like dude it's so fucking crazy and you go over there and it could be like maybe just a little and then probably that could be like the only thing we catch of the night yeah <laughs> and then Orbs are cool and everything. Like, okay, I'll say. Well, no, I'm not gonna say much about this upcoming one, but um, I'll just say just in general, like orbs are cool depending on how it looks like. Yeah. Like that, but other than that, it's just, just like, it's just another orb. It's like, or it's you know, it could be dust. Yeah. You know, it's really easy. And then like, if you see something like right after someone walks into a room or right after, it's because the dust is still settling. Yeah. So it's not. It's like. 
yeah, like the I don't even know if we want to talk about it, but <laughs> yeah, because the only one that when we first saw it, that one was like holy shit. Yeah, that one was crazy. All the other ones seem like kind of like just dust particles. Yeah, but usually the one that you can really tell if it is like an orb though too is it does have that tail end. Yeah, tail, and it's larger than usual. Yeah. It's usually, like, fucking like that. Or it has, like, a weird fucking shape to it sometimes. Yeah, like the one I caught at Don Yeah, it looked, like, one was... it looked like a fish or something. Like, yeah. I don't know what the fuck it was. I, I don't know why it made me turn. Because I was, like, I was recording you guys, and I, I just, and I see, I was, like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. It just kind of, like, went up to me, and it's, like, uh, if it was, like, it was, like, a prison, so what if that ghost was, like, What's up, dude? It's like <laughs> trying to scare me. I was like, "Oh shit, dude!" Because you see, like, go forward and yeah, it takes off. It was weird, yeah, because it like went like, and then it like took off. I was yeah. like, "What the fuck?" That one is probably my favorite one. Like, the very first orb I caught was at St. James, and that that one was by like, the door, right? Yeah, yeah, I was pretty hyped about that because you could see it just like see it go down, and I was like, "Holy shit, holy shit!" <laughs> just like, what's weird is that like you don't see it with your own eyes sometimes. It's just like yeah. with like the camera. Yeah, it's really weird. I yeah. think it's the infrared light because it's it can see things that your eyes can't see. Yeah, and I wonder how like you think it's only cameras that can see it, or do you think there's that moment you can like look and you could probably. See I don't know. It? I've never been like where I could I did that, you know? Because yeah. usually you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I think we probably could have seen that orb a lot better if we had that uh, infrared thing mounted on the top. Because we, we didn't did it. it. We didn't do it at the time. Huh? Yeah, and we were still just using the one in the. Like built into the camera, yeah. Oh yeah, our, uh, the one that Cameron that's on camera is a infrared light. has It has it built in, but it's it's okay. It's not that bad. It it shows it, but it only does like to like maybe like five feet. Yeah. With the added IR light that we have that get mounts to the top, you can see pretty fucking far. You can see like a whole room. Yeah, it's like a it's pretty much like a, a night vision flashlight, like a really bright one. Yeah. Because I remember when we first got that, you like check this out and like. Holy shit, you can see everything now. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, because on here it only has one single one. And then that one has, like, how many rows? Like, five, it's like five or yeah, six rows. Five five or six, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fucking bright. Yeah. Sometimes you can't even turn it all the way up because it starts getting too bright. Mm. Where everything looks, like, kind of, like, white or something. <laughs> like a white green or yeah. something like that. Watch. We'll show you what it looks like. It's probably going to be look kind of stupid because that light's on. <laughs> Let's see. Boom. Whoa. You're in night vision, bro. Wow. wow look at me. <laughs> look, at, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> like I can actually see that color. I know. <laughs> Turn off. What the fuck? <laughs> there it is. But, um... <clears throat> I think that was, like, the... Sucky part about starting though too, because like we did have the night vision, yeah. but it's like you can like can you see it? And you try to zoom in after this is like it gets dark. I'm like no, yeah. I can't see it. <laughs> Especially when, like when we're the, doing the outside ones. Yeah, because it doesn't reach that far. <laughs> There's nothing to reflect back or anything like that. Yeah, so like the brighter ones really help. Cause I have like four of them just in case one the, the other two die, but it lasted the whole last time, no? Huh? It did. It was it we were, it was dying, but it never died. You know, I thought it was going to die a lot more sooner because I think it had, like, one more battery or something, yeah. but it still... Still went the rest of the night. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, those things. But um, what's any things that you want to tell people about Um, what they don't know and should know? Uh, let's see. It's such a hard question to answer. Mm. But it is all... I, I think... I know we said this before, but watching the show and actually being there is a total different thing. Like when you watch the show, it's like, oh, I can see everything, the night vision. And the feeling of the place is like a vibe that the place like projects on you. So you don't get that through the show. You don't feel that like the small thing in this big place. Yeah. That's what it feels like. And like it, it's way, it's a lot scarier when you're there. Like watching the show, sometimes you get creeped out, but. Being there is it's like step. It's literally like stepping into like a horror movie. So with some of these places that just look, they just look creepy, even if it's not haunted. You know, yeah, they just look creepy. Uh, and then just all the work that goes into it. There's a lot of shit that you guys don't even see. There's a lot of equipment that we have to use. Certain equipment because a lot of this, like like Cameron said, there's a lot of the places don't have electricity, so you have to have your own, provide your own kind of electricity. <laughs> 
Because, like, when we did Donna Anna, the... We keep we already brought it up the second time it's coming up soon but like we we ran like what 150 foot extension cables yeah th- throughout the whole place oh man trying to set that up was a pain too because we're like trying to find some area too it's like does it work nope all right now i'm gonna find another plug <laughs> just does it work nope all right <laughs> so i guess it'll go further down i guess all right now it's working all right now trying to Make sure no one trips over these and everything like that. Yeah, and then the other guys have to go to the other cells. Yeah. And then they put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> okay, that's another pain though, too, when someone puts something in the wrong spot. Oh, that sucked. We didn't even notice until we went down there. Like, yeah. where the fuck is the camera? Because it was supposed to be where the, the where the blood stains were. Yeah. And they had it, like, not even close to her. It was. it was, like, in a cell facing a fucking wall. <laughs> It's like, who the fuck? Like, even if you couldn't find it, put it in a better spot. <laughs> oh, man. Um, there was nothing on that camera, either. <laughs> maybe there could have been something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then when they they grabbed it, they turned the camera off. And uh, that's when something happened, remember? Because Pickles got his hair pulled. Oh, yeah. yeah. But we didn't get it on camera because they turned it off. <laughs> they should have kept it rolling as they went. Yeah. That's that's a thing that we gotta we gotta keep on doing though too. We definitely did uh, the, the recent investigation though. Yeah, because at least when we turned off our our main cameras, the security was rolling. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got new equipment. <laughs> <laughs> we said that yeah. we got new equipment. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> it actually really was. It was like pretty much you're like watching the show happening. Yeah. Because usually, like, if you're just like. Before, when we used to be like just like, a, like I said, when we used to pair off into like whatever, yeah, or even doing solos, that'd be so sick to do that because now you can oh, like shit. watch them now. That's crazy. Because yeah, before you just had to wait until their time came up, so you're just chilling in the little spot where like our our uh, headquarters would be at, pretty much, yeah. and just be quiet or we'd be talking or just on our phone or something like that, just, just waiting, waiting for like thirty minutes or something. Yeah, then at, your alarm would go off. Just do. All right, your time's over. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Like, at least now you can see, watch, see everything, what's yeah. going on, or like, dude, something just went behind you. Like, Something's following you. Yeah. Uh, I hope that never happens for me. <laughs> right? or, or if it does, just don't, just don't tell me. I know, no <laughs> shit. It's like, dude, there's something following you the whole fucking time, bro. <laughs> it's like fucking, uh, it's like the Easter Bunny. No, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, oh man, yeah. that's gonna be fun when we start doing like like bigger places again. Yeah, and like doing the solos because we didn't do one last time because I didn't feel like we really needed to. Yeah, it was. I feel like we already did as much as we can. Yeah, for that one. Technically, we we technically did like a solo. You know. We yeah. Did, uh, well, you, you yeah you me and pickles now. Yeah. Yeah, because that was really creepy. I, I've never experienced that where I just couldn't hear or see anything. That's a. That's a whole another feeling you guys gotta feel though too when um you do stuff by yourself because as you said like when you go in like when you're watching it it looks creepy and the way how it looks and everything but once you're finally in it like the best moment I can give is would be the it still have to be Donna Anna because you like you walk down the hallway I remember like I was saying to myself though too when I was walking doing my solo and I was like <sighs> okay. It's fucking freaky. I'm getting really scared. And like, you start walking down the hallway, and there's that that cell to go down to the cells and everything. Yeah. And yeah, it's just dark, and you're alone. <laughs> yeah, because you're like walking down that hallway, and then you get to see where you can like that. Yeah, that last gate. You're just yeah. like, I'm okay. There's no turning back now. Yeah. I'm fucked. Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when um, yeah, that's when you hear those people too. It's like, yeah, I can do that. You know. It's like, like nah, <laughs> bro. Like. Like, us going together is still scary. Yeah. Like, when it's just two of us. And then when you're, like, alone, oh, it's like a, it just feels like everything's watching you or something. Yeah. Like, you definitely don't feel alone with something that you can't see. Like, you feel like somebody's watching you every time you do that. Yeah. Ugh. And then, fuck, this guy's done Estes Method when by himself when you're alone. I can't do that because every time I put a blindfold on by myself, I feel like it just... Someone just like walks up to me or something. Uh, <laughs> it just like walks us like, like, like face to face. Yeah. Like that. Because uh, fuck. Like when we did the last one, I we're doing that complete like deprivation. I did. 
Uh, this is a weird. Did you feel spinning at all? No, I did. I felt like the whole room was spinning, or my seat at least. It was really weird. Mine was just, well, as I told you, it's more like, you know, just all, you know, touchy and everything. Like that. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, because we're, well, you guys will see it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I think that's much we're gonna talk about with that one. Yeah, <laughs> that was nuts. Um, but the thing about having some more stuff to go. Oh, that's another pain thing though too that people don't know. Trying to contact places. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, I'd like, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear it, but it happens when you're trying to contact people to, uh, we said that last time, actually, with uh, with Jordan, we're talking about oh, trying yeah. to book the places. and You have a superstition, and then people just like, yeah. fuck that, nope, we don't do any of that, our place isn't haunted, like, <laughs> all right, you've been doing how many interviews? <laughs> Ghost <laughs> Adventures was there last night. <laughs> <laughs> and you just tell me off, because I'm a... Buki alien or what? Yeah. Or they'll, they'll, they'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, come on down. It would be awesome for $10,000. <laughs> You'll have the whole place to yourself. Like, oh. Uh, $10,000? What do you think I'm made of? Fucking gold cum or something? Like, what Like what the fuck? Like, like we're ghost hunters. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, we're not like some... I don't know. What the fuck you think we are, honestly? I don't know. Like, we're like, oh, they're YouTubers. They have a lot of money. And I was like, not us. Not yet, anyways. I hope, hopefully soon we get a sponsor. But You know, um, we're losing money actually being here. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Oh, dude, fucking the light bill. Oh, let's go. <laughs> you have to pay, pay the drive over there and then pay the place. No shit. And hopefully you catch something. Yeah, and if it's a dud episode, that sucks. Yeah. It's happened before. Yeah, Oh, that's a yeah. That's another thing though too. When you try to investigate and nothing happens, and you know, I don't want to be like one of those people where you try to hype it up or something like that. Yeah, like, you're just that's just reality. You don't always have everything that like happens out of the blue or anything like that. Because yeah, some nights you'll just be you're just some random people in an abandoned building after that. <laughs> yeah, you're just weirdos in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So pretty much is that. Is there yeah. anyone here? Uh, Hello? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if, like, if, if you had someone watching you, like, those guys are fucking, they're psychos. <laughs> is, there, is there anybody there? Can you slap me? <laughs> Did you die here? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Tony. <laughs> 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 oh, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that's funny, actually, when you think about that. It's, this us just sitting in the dark and shit like that. Yeah, just walking around aimlessly, just calling out to something that's not there. Uh, it's a funny, it, I don't know, I, I don't even know why we do it, but it's just fun, I guess. Yeah. Just that, 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 like, oh, something might happen, or that, just that fear is such an adrenaline rush. Yeah, and it makes it, you feel alive. Yeah, it really does. Like, you realize that, like, like I don't know, it's... It does make you feel. It makes you feel just scared and, like, ugh, it's so fun. It's like a, the best way I guess to describe it is like when why people go to like those haunted attractions where they get scared. They just like that feeling. Yeah. Or watching a horror movie. It's like that times like, like ten or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like you know, watching a movie, you're like you're ready. You're, your body's ready for the jump scares, but you don't know when it's gonna happen. Yeah. And for this one, it's just like an eternity of waiting for something to happen. So oh, your body shit. is just like on edge, like every single second. And then if something happens, you it, it's it's unexplainable, you know. It's yeah. like what the fuck. I just, pickles he gets grabbed all the fucking time. I don't know how he deals with it. <laughs> like I, if I got grabbed like that, I'd freak the fuck out. Well, he does freak out though too. Him and his nope, 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 nope. <laughs> he always <laughs> says that too. <laughs> oh fuck! I watched that footage back too. It was funny, but. uh the one where he's in a biohazard, that was fucking funny. He's all doing that high leg shit. The high knee jump, just nope, nope, nope. Because <laughs> he grabbed it by the legs, so I think yeah. he was just like, like trying to run, like, don't grab my legs again. He said that was like the one of the most violent ones, because like, it kind of like just like jetted out of that rug and just like fucking grabbed him. Yeah. Um, that's got to be scary. That really does, because like, as out, like for my feelings, I only get like what feels like hairs or something like on my hand or something like that. Like electricity or, almost? Yeah, almost like that, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Like, imagine if it grabbed him too hard where, like, when he took a step, he, like, made him fall. <laughs> Just, boom. He, like, pushed his leg in, so, like, it was, <laughs> that would suck. 
Uh, but I, I don't know, like, I still want something to, like, physically, like, do something that, like, like, yeah, like, like it pulls, like, my jacket or grabs me or something like that, yeah. you know? Or even slaps me. <laughs> oh, shit, like, yeah, like, something, yeah, or even, like, furniture got moved around or, like, right in front of us. Yeah, dude, that'd be sick, like, be, like, fucking crazy, like, you see, like, something move like that, you know? Yeah, something, like, crazy or, like, the phone came on hooked or something. Oh, it starts ringing. That, dude, that, that fucking flipped me out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, or if we're just walking, like, a chair gets slid across the floor or something. You should take that on the next investigation. Tell oh, them shit. To just leave it there now. It's like, can you ring the phone? Because they did, dude. Or have the typewriter on there. So, oh, yeah. this go, so, like, just come and press it. You fuck. <laughs> I think they type something. This bitch. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Imagine just being in another room and just hear that far away. Oh, man. That would be so crazy, but of course, we'd be like, oh, hear that? Like, and then we go run and it's like, go, 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 go. Oh, shit. We always do that, too. Like, when the REM pod goes off or something, we, like, run the fuck over there. Yeah. Roll out of breath. I don't know. Who's trying, here? Just, <laughs> just try to, like, because those microphones are so sensitive. <laughs> you can hear everything. It's crazy. You can hear, like, someone swallow. I don't just. <laughs> or, <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah, those, yeah, like honestly, most of our like EVP stuff comes from those cameras. The one that camera's looking at that one's. I don't know what's with that camera. It just cat. It's just ghosts like that one or something. They don't like the 360 one sometimes, which is weird because that's a really sensitive. Like it's like super sensitive. Yeah, and it's all angles. Yeah. So like you think like it'd be easier to pick up, but it's mostly the camera ones that we get shit. I know. That's why, like, I would try to listen to it with the headphones, though, too. Yeah. I just have to put it off to the side, because that one still has a delay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like Jimmy. That's still, we always tease her. <laughs> uh, might have been a lizard. <laughs> Sounds special as fuck. Uh, she gets so mad. <laughs> it's easier. Well, she probably hears me now in another room. Yeah. Let me fuck her. <laughs> that shit was funny. You see a shoe hit me. <laughs> but now that... <laughs> She's done it a few times. Like I heard her over there. And she is right there. You scared the <laughs> fuck out of me. <laughs> you scared me with your. No, might have been a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> She's done it a few times when we first started. <laughs> I heard something over there. Because <laughs> it's a millisecond delay, so like it's it makes you sound all fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like just very little. So like when you try, like when I'm talking like right now, it sounds normal, you know? Yeah. But like when you try, when you do on that one, it's like when I say hi, it's like hi, hi, like that. Yeah. So you're just like, I remember I was like, I, like, do you hear anything? I think, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it like this. I was like, all right, so now okay, I can hear. Sorry, we got a special person behind the camera. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like Forrest Gump. Gump. <laughs> I don't know. I may not be a smart man, but I know what ghosts look like. <laughs> um, I think um, it's hard to do it too because I don't want to like... Uh, a tam- tamper the the evidence that we have though too because there are times when like I want to hear you guys talk and I want to say something so I'll, like do that real fast but you can hear like the oh movement. The, the move yeah. like that because yeah. like, like, it almost sounds like a footstep or something yeah so like but there are times though too like can you hear that and I'll like I'll try to put it back on so I, so I can hear fully you yeah. know and those ones do freak me out like when you hear like a a whisper or like a high or just something when you have these on like because no one can hear it but you that's holding the camera yeah so you'd like or like yeah what jimmy caught over there at um the haunted hill that like that one yeah like, we didn't hear that with our ears yeah not at all because like i think me and pickles were thinking the same thing though too because it just happened when a motorcycle was like going down the highway you know yeah. like, speeding so she was like uh do you hear that and like me and mike were like i think it was like the motorcycle yeah. it's like no like it sounded like a you and like the sound on the motorcycle like, mm. so it kind of yeah you thought that's what it was yeah so we're like i don't think it was then after that when we checked it out it was just it was definitely like a you yeah it's like fuck man it was like, it was like right uh, over there i got weird again thinking yeah. about it that's creepy 
man, like, I, I think the way how far, how it sounded, like, if you can see where the door is, like, behind me, that's how far that sound was. Where, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm getting chilled. Yeah, I'm getting chilled just like, thinking creepy. about it. Yeah, this knowing someone's like, you. <laughs> like, oh, that was creepy. That was the first big evidence we ever got. Yeah, our first big, our first big evidence on our first investigation. Yeah, that's crazy. We should do that where we just like season one, just compile a bunch of the best evidence. Yeah, and then make it into like a compilation and do it for the second season too. This is such more, more some more, ugh, so much footage to go through. Yeah, because it's like fucking every episode is like almost an, like an hour and a half or two. I guess the best way to do it is if we um, we all had our turn to, or we all choose an episode to yeah. watch and we take out the best parts and put it all together and see how it goes. That'd be pretty cool. Be like a Pitch Dark's top moments or some shit. Yeah, paranormal moments. Pinch Dark. Pinch Dark. <laughs> Fuck. But I really want to get out there again. I really do too, and that's why I was like looking up the things. We should call some places after this. After we're, yeah, we're about done now, anyways. That was a pretty good episode, actually. Oh, that was really, that was yeah. really rad. Cool. All right. Well, I guess that's it for today. Uh, we read some stories, talked about some aliens, talked about some ghosts, talked about ghost hunting, some jungle aliens, <laughs> jungle aliens, <laughs> some Easter that, bunny. Cameron's yeah. the Easter bunny. <laughs> Sometimes I wipe my ass or I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I watch a shitty <laughs> ghost of it, or a ghost episode, everybody's all trying to look at your ass in the video <laughs> I know. to see if you wiped or not. It's all, it's all night vision. How are they going to see it? <laughs> it's all kind of see through. It's all shit covered, like just dark right there. <laughs> it's just dark as fuck. <laughs> Guess I'll wipe my ass. Uh, if you guys want us to do our next. Uh, a uh, podcast with uh, our POV mounts on our head. No. <laughs> just fucking oh, shit. That would be, like, you know, actually, we should just do that just because, like, it'll be like a whole weird thing. Like, you can have that camera going, but you can switch out to, like, when we're talking yeah. to our faces. It's just all, like, doing a thousand mile stare and just all talking. <laughs> just, like, looking like a bug. It's like, <laughs> we're just, like, looking around and just have it night vision. All stupid night vision. <laughs> Just have the, all these lights off? Yeah, this night vision. <laughs> uh, that sounds like an idea. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's <funny. laughs> all right, later, guys. Yeah. <laughs>